Well, hello everybody on YouTube. Um, a while back, I put a video up on um, Church Bible Publishers' uh, version of the Bible called Cameo, and uh, it's the 115. And it's been, I don't know, but uh, a while now, and I just wanted to show you what I've done with it. I put a link down below so you can see the the video I'm referring to so here's it this is my my Bible uh, that I presented to you before and I want to show you what I've done with it you can see the leather still soft it's perfect it hasn't been actually it's got more more flexible more uh, supple not a problem with it. It's there. But I want to show you what I've done. I actually changed its ribbons and I added three pairs for ribbon, ribbons, sorry, in three different colors. And I also changed the original head and tail bands and replaced them with these white ones. And I think this is a great improvement, but not only that, as you can see, it still remains the gold, but I did some art kill underneath with red myself. So when you open it up, it goes red. When you close it, it becomes gold back to gold red gold so <laughs> that's what I did with this one I think it looks great now it only became softer and softer now if you go to Genesis you're gonna see how this Bible lays flat at Genesis chapter 1 you go I think it's brilliant some messages coming through sorry for that but I just wanted to show you what happened after a while when I was using this Bible it's actually opening flat everywhere any part of the scripture is absolutely there you go so it became very, very soft and uh, still intact, uh, the sewing and everything else. This is just the, the very last part of the scripture where you got the maps, index, and everything. And that lifts a little bit because that's hard cardstock. But there you go. I think it looks brilliant. What I did was also I kind of painted a little bit this. I use some of my micron pens to highlight these maps a little bit and I think that's an improvement there. This brought a little bit up the color. That's one of the things that this Bible didn't really... That color was added by me. And there you go, that's Jerusalem. In the time of Messiah Yeshua, Jesus the Christ. That's the temple right there. The court of Gentiles, Mount of the o of Olives. <laughs> I painted there in red all these, the roofs of these houses. Probably they were in red, but just to give a bit of, of color, I just wanted to do something there anyway and I put there some of my uh, notes back brilliant for notes and I think that's it yeah and uh, this thing is still together hasn't 
split anything. But look at that, still stitching, still corners. Very good. Now this thing has been used so much that the leather itself started to fold, covering, I don't know if you can see it, there you go, covering the actual, it's like a little yap actually, see that? Now this is a hand sized bible, it's, uh, it's the 115 E1T and and uh, here's some of my notes too there. Um, I've been using this Bible quite a while now. Uh, I purchased this Bible on the... Sorry now. 23rd August 2016, I think. And um, it's been nearly a year since I got this Bible. And it looks great, I have to say. It's as flexible as it was. Look at that. It's very soft. Still <laughs> smells awesomely good. This calf skin. Iron to calf skin. But that's the change I've made to this Bible. I wanted to improve a little bit and that's the goal right there. And I, did, I added the art guild in there myself using cotton and ink and uh, I changed I replaced the bands here and the ribbons very nice ribbons anyway just wanted to show you an update on this uh, Bible and I hope you liked it you can see how it lays flat there the crockling here on this uh, is being uh, smoothened out a little bit with usage. Um, if you actually do this so often from, from the beginning to the center and from the end to the center, you will help your Bible to lay flat like, like this one in no time. But with proper care and usage, you shouldn't have a problem. There you go. I hope this has been a blessing to you all. Uh, God bless you and Shalom.